Hello, how to solve this exponential problem? This is 2 raised to the power of square root of t equals 8 power t. We are solving for all values of t that satisfies this equation. Now, if you observe, the two bases here are different. So the first step is to ensure that we make the two bases to be the same. So to achieve this, I need to express 8 in terms of 2. 8 is 2 times 2 times 2. And this is 2 to the power of 3. So I have 2 power square root of t equals 2 to the power of 3. And this is raised to the power of t. Now, if you have a power x to the power of 1, this equals a power x times y. So I can multiply this exponent. That means I will have 2 power square root of t equals 2 power 3t. Now, we can then apply this identity of a power x equals a power y, meaning x equals y. So we can say square root of t equals 3t. Now, the next step will be to eliminate the square root which I can achieve that by taking the squares of both part of this equation. So, if you have square root of x raised to the power of 2, this equals x because this eliminates this. So, square root of t raised to the power of 2, this eliminates this, we have t equals, we can distribute this to each of the terms. I have 3 power square, or 3 power 2, times t power 2. And 3 power 2 is 9. I have t equals 9 times t squared. And 9 times t squared is 9 t squared. So I have t equals 9 t squared. This is absolutely impressive. Now, we can solve this in two ways. One way is just to divide by t. Another way is to form a quadratic equation. So, if I decide to divide by t, what I'm going to get will be t divided by t equals 9t squared divided by t. So, t eliminate t, I have 1 equals 9t squared divided by t. This will give you 9t. Because if you have a power n divided by a power m, equals a power n minus n. So this t is to the power of 1 is to the power of 2. We subtract 1 from 2. That's 2 minus 1 is 1. So we have 1 equals 90. And from here, we have 90 by rearranging equals 1. I can isolate t by dividing this by 9. Dividing this by 9. 9 eliminate 9. So I have t equals 1 over 9. Like I said earlier on, you can solve this using two different methods. Another way of solving this is to form a quadratic equation by simply pushing this t over here. So from here, I will simply have 0 left here equals 9t squared minus t. So by rearranging this, I'll have 9t squared minus t equals 0. So, what I'm going to do will be to factor out the common term here, which is t. I have t times this device t. I have 90 minus this device t. I have 1 and this equals 0. So, from here, I can have t equals 0. And 90 minus 1 equals 0. So, this also has been solved. So, let's go ahead and solve this linear equation. I move this over here. I have 90 equals 1. I can easily isolate t by dividing this by 9. Dividing this by 9. This cancel this. I have t equals 1 over 9. So we have two values for t, which are 0 and 1 over 9. Using this particular method. While using this method here, we have only one solution, which is 1 over 9. So ladies and gentlemen, 
let's verify this particular solution. Let's verify the two solutions, t equals 0 and t equals 1 over 9. Now we have 2 power square root of t equals 8 power t. Let's start with when t equals 0. You have 2 power square root of 0 equals 8 power 0. Now square root of 0 is 0. You have 2 power 0 equals 8 power 0. And 2 power 0, or in normal raised to the power of 0 is 1, so this is 1 equals 1. 0 has proven to be correct. Let's also verify when t equals 1 over 9. We have 2 power square root of t equals 8 power t and t equals 1 over 9. I'll have 2 power square root of 1 over 9 equals 8 power 1 over 9. Remember, if you have square root of a over b, equals square root of a divided by square root of b. So, I can have the power square root of 1 divided by square root of 9 equals 8 power 1 over 9. Square root of 1 is 1, I have 2 power 1 divided by square root of 9 is 3. Of course, this equals 8 power 1 over 9. Now from here, 8 is 2 power 3. So I simply have 2 power 1 over 3 equals 2 power 3 raised to the power 1 over 9. Remember, a power s power y equals a power x times y. So from here, 2 power 1 over 3 equals 2 power 3 times 1. This is 3, and this is divided by 9. This cancel itself, cancel itself 3. So right now, we have 2 power 1 over 3 equals 2 power 1 over 3. And remember, if you have a power 1 over n, this equals the n root of a. So 2 power 1 over 3 is equals the cube root of 2 equals the cube root of 2. This one and this one are not the same. So ladies and gentlemen, this is it. So the value of t has satisfied this equation. The put values of t have satisfied the equation, meaning that the two values are correct. So this is how you solve this exponential problem and finding all values of t. Please don't forget to subscribe and share this video to your friends. Thank you and...